They're here with Greg here at the Stroud Brewery, and uh, Ian is going to uh, do a bit of the process now, right? Sure. Why don't you tell us what, what's going on? You. Ian's our head yeah. brewer. Hi, Ian. Hi. How are you? My, you're tall. <laughs> <laughs> and so you're in the middle of brewing. We see we see the steam coming off the copper here, and you're you're about to do the magic bit, huh? The first of many magic bits. Yeah, here's it. You've got Some this lovely bag full of hops. Okay, so you've got it already sort of chunked. Yeah, it comes in big compressed bags. So and yeah, goes. and then it goes in there and quite, quite simply, and extracts all the flavors. And lots of bitterness as well comes from it. Yeah, that's the idea of the hops, right? Some, and preservative action as well. We're in the beer. Keeps a lot better than other drinks. Ooh, we might that want to fall in there. Yeah, although it's not really alcohol yet, but <laughs> it's on its way. Soon it will be. A week, a you're, week. You're creating wort right now. That's correct. All right, that's what's known as wort. And you give it a, give it a bit of a stir. The biggest wind spoon on the whole. So this is now becoming <laughs> hopped wort. So it's wort with hops. Okay. <laughs> yeah, still good. Lovely. So All right. In one hour, the next hops go in. Yeah. So just boiling it away, getting it, getting it boiled and yep. sterile and everything. So this is the whole, this is the whole facility this, here, right? Say, this is the yes. whole brewery. So you've got this building here, and then is this your storage? It's or? very. Uh, my storage is over here. Yeah. Oh. Is this, this your mash tun here? This is the mash tun. Yeah. Is there still? Oh, yep. We got the leftovers here. So this, this is the, the brew house, as it were. And this is the fermenting room. And, you know, <laughs> and a larger room. I don't see a I don't see a line on the floor or anything to in distinguish. An ideal world, it would be a Where's separate. the administrative department? Yeah. <laughs> right in that little right. You see this, the scale and the computer. That's, that's, right. That's HQ. Yeah. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Oh, but here we go. See, Gloucestershire right. Beer of the Year, 2008. So uh, yeah, we really you know as you, as you mentioned, it's the local the local brews. There's the lawnmower the guy. First there we go. Yeah. Uh, Greg was mentioning to us that the lawnmower was invented <laughs> on this site by Mr. Budding. That's right. And one of your beers, your, your inaugural beer, was called Budding. I yes. see it over there, the sign there. Yeah. Yeah. The Budding beer. So. Uh, and it was Budding that won. We 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 uh, did our first brew at the end of May uh, 2006, and in July 2006 we won Champion Beer of Gloucestershire. So that gave us a bit of a, right out of the a gate. boost. It yeah. stroked our egos. Yeah. Um, and then, not the following year, but uh, last year, we then managed to win it again. So two yeah. out of our three years, we won Champion Beer of Boston. To keep consistency, which is the key for all beer, is consistency. And one thing we need to do is ferment at a consistent temperature. So we control all our fermenters within 0.2 of a degree. Okay. So this is chilling. So if the first one is started to cool down from 20 degrees down to 8 degrees, and the second one you can see is still fermenting at 20.5 yeah. plus 20 to 20.7. Yeah. yeah. So that's our probably most advanced technological bit. Right. It just helps really with product consistency. If the yeast gets about a degree warmer, it's going to start doing different flavours. The degree colder, it's going to taste different again. Yeah. And our consumers, they love the taste that we already have. So we've got to keep it that keep, same flavour. Keep form. it good. Right. Just keep that award winning beer going there. So one of our most popular seasonal beers is our Brewer's Garden. It's a, a harvest celebration ale. And uh, you might have noticed we've got some hops growing on the front of the building. And last year, Ian actually harvested the hops and created his own little oast and dried them. And then brewed a one-off beer, uh, Brewer's Garden, and it flew out. It's our fastest selling beer. That's a really local really? brew. Very local. <laughs> Everything it's is, local as it gets. your, your so hops is from the side of the wall. <laughs> so many people said to us, well, we didn't know you had hops growing on the, on the brewery. Uh, and volunteered to grow hops for us. So we've taken cuttings or we split the crowns of the hops and there's eight, twelve, 12 people growing hops for us this year and they're going to come to the brewery with their hop vines, we're going to harvest the flowers and have a, a little party and then brew more brewer's gardens okay, here with these nice. hops and uh, oh, that'll be a lovely story. And they'll have a pint. And they'll have a pint, yes, <laughs> absolutely. And I'm sure we'll have to come back and then uh, have another pint once we've brewed it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a great beer. Yeah, I know Jen's going to want to taste this some the of that. This is the best part of the job. <laughs> Look at that. <gasps> so, yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, can you see the gold? Just, Look yeah. at that. It's liquid gold. Yeah, liquid it's gold. a good color. Now, which one yeah. is this? This is, so this is budding. This is budding. Yes. Okay. So it's a pale. This is the lawnmower beer. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, here, let's, uh, okay, well, let's have a bit of a, a, bit of a ching ching. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to find a local beer. <laughs> We got presents, so we're Look gonna at you, wandering out with beer. She gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs>